Hello everyone, my name is Tor and welcome or welcome back to Anthropology. Okay, thank you for joining me in today's video. It's a very exciting one. I have a big announcement for all of you if you didn't see it on my community post or on my Instagram account. Um, for those that don't follow me, it's the same name anthropology on Instagram. I'll get into another video as to why I remade Instagram, but for this video, I wanted to talk about my big announcement that I am engaged. Robin and I got engaged over just actually a week ago today, and I wanted to talk a little bit about my engagement, um, especially as, you know, a gay person. Getting engaged, you know, it's kind of a hot topic, kind of rife with uh, discussion points, I guess, from people that are for it, people that are against it, you know, here I am live in it and i also wanted to talk about my everyday jewelry just so everyone can get an idea because i've been making more jewelry related content and obviously getting engaged jewelry is a part of that especially in like western culture so that's what we have on the agenda today so if you're interested in learning about my engagement story how robin surprised me with an engagement well surprised and also um, a little bit more about the ring and then my everyday jewelry keep watching also i just wanted to shout out our friends at fiobach as well in, in this video for giving me this shirt to wear now this is one of their stay cool 2.0 curve hem t-shirt in black it's super comfortable very nicely form-fitting for those that uh, are looking for a reference point i'm wearing a size small I'll put a picture here of me modeling it but it's a really nice shirt has really nice details just a small little fiobach symbol on the side there also i really like how this is curved i was not too close but thank you again fiobach for partnering with me and giving me this t-shirt to show all of you um this is not paid so i'm not being paid to promote this i was just gifted the product and also there is a discount code so 20 percent off at fiobach with the code tor20 i'll put it in the screen and down below as well for those that are interested they're also having a sale so take advantage of that if you want some really nice clothing so that's from our friends over at fiobach but let's start with the engagement story so last saturday robin was like i have a big plan for us he essentially was like we're gonna go to this really nice restaurant and then i have this afternoon planned and then that was it so it was like a nice fun date he had booked the roof at black and blue which for those that are not in vancouver black and blue is a really really nice uh steakhouse and i was just like okay that's like a very nice restaurant for a regular saturday so I was like hmm like what's going on here and then he was also like i have this whole afternoon planned as well and Robin's not the biggest planner. Normally I'm the planner. So I was like, okay, like interesting. Go along with it, everything's fine. So we end up downtown and we walk through the Free Palestine protest. Um, for those that don't know, Robin is Palestinian. So starting off at that protest was very emotional for him, for me, for everybody there, um, obviously given everything that's happening right now in the world. So we started there, had a good old time at the protest, which was not supposed to be a part of the date but it just happened to be and then we walk through go to the restaurant have a really nice sort of late lunch early dinner we got some calamari got some margaritas got some sangria got some mussels got some steak some lobster mashed potatoes it was a whole thing it was really delicious and then he was like let's go for a walk on the beach so for those that are unfamiliar to vancouver where we live vancouver has really nice beaches probably like the best beaches in my opinion in Canada. Um, so we walk through, go to Sunset Beach, which is like, and Sunset was just starting to hit. It was like just around like five, I think. So like the golden hour was starting. And we do this big walk along the seawall and we end up at English Bay. And I noticed he was like looking at his phone a lot. And I was like, why are you looking at your phone? Like we're on a date and I'm right here. But then he's like, let's go sit on one of the logs. And for those that aren't familiar with English Bay, they have these giant logs all across like the beach so that people can sit and like hang out and like there are designated spots for people to like be. And normally when we go to English Bay, we don't stop. We just sort of like keep going along the seawall. But he was like, let's stop and like look at the ocean. So we did and I love doing that. So we stopped, looked at the ocean and he looked at me and he was like, you know, these past six years have been amazing. I know, crazy to believe that we've already been together for six years or almost six years, six years in like three weeks. And he was like, I really love spending 
like these past six years with you. I love you. Slid off the log, got down on one knee, asked me to marry him and I said yes. And then from there, our three really good friends, like our best friends came running out screaming. They had flowers and Prosecco and we just had a mini photo shoot. I was so taken aback by like seeing all of them there. Had a cute little photo shoot. I'll input some pictures here. And it was so cute and so like amazing. And then we went to Cactus Club at, in English Bay, which is like a restaurant right on the beach. And we got some drinks and cake and it was literally just such an amazing time. So Robin really hit it out of the park. It was like my dream engagement. And I'm so grateful that he has so much love for me and I have so much love for him that we're going to take this next step in our life together. So that's the engagement story, how it happened. Um, but now let's get to, I guess, the part well that everyone's here, which is the bling, the jewels. Robin and I had sort of started talking about engagements or like what we would like to do. Starting spring of like 2023 of sort of this year, we were like sort of talking like, do what do we want to do? Do we want to take that next step together? And then we went to Europe with our friends, came back and we were like, you know, like what if we just like look, like look at what like rings would be like, what they would look like. And I really like Burks. Um, Burks, for those that are unfamiliar, is I think it's like the oldest jeweler in Canada, like the full Maison. They have their stores here, there, and everywhere. And you know, Meghan Markle often wears their things. Like they're they're one of like Canada's like premier jewelers, and they've been around since like the late 1800s, I think. So they're pretty like they're very well established within Canada, and they have really good diamonds and really nice like. I don't even know what the word is, like settings, I guess is like the right word. So we go into the large Burks store in Vancouver and just start like playing around with jewelry. So I really loved this one here. So this is the Burks blue. So it has a little sapphire on either side, a three diamond setting. And it is obviously in yellow gold with three diamonds. So a center stone and then two side stones and then a sapphire on either side meant to be the something blue. So Burks also is known for their um, little bell, I guess, box, which is like super pretty. I really like it. Yeah, it's meant to be a bell. It's very like, it's quite heavy duty as well. Like it has like a nice like weight to it. And it just says Burks on the top. So that was basically that, like we went, we picked the setting um, that we both liked, that we felt was like really nice and like represented us as a couple. And then we put in our order because obviously they had to like make it based off of like some specifications as to what diamonds were available to go into this type of setting. So it took around, I think like 10-ish weeks for them to actually create the ring. And then Robin fully surprised me when he gave it to me. That is our story. So this is the ring representing our love we liked the three motif uh, because it represents our past, our present, and our future. So I really thought that was like super cute and sweet. And then the um, sapphires on either side represent the something blue, you know, something old, something new, something blue, all that jazz. So it was super cute and I'm very excited for us to officially be moving forward on this next chapter of our life. So I also wanted to get into some of my other everyday jewelry because I am a jewelry person, mostly yellow gold. I feel like it looks quite nice on my skin tone because I have a yellow undertone to my skin. So like white gold, silver, which is what my necklaces are. I, I do like, cause I feel like it's very like modern and young, but I feel like, I don't know, on my arms, yellow gold is where I really like. So I have this 18, what is this? I think this is 18 karat gold link bracelet. Most of my jewelry was gifted to me and passed down through my family. So I have this really nice bracelet that's a mix of sort of polished gold and then also, I guess like not matte, but sort of textured. And it's this, this link bracelet it has a lobster claw here. Apparently the story of this one was my dad gave it to my mom from a trip that they went to in Italy. And now it ended up on my, on my wrist. This one, is a nine, I believe it's a nine carat rose gold wedding band. And this was my grandfather's wedding band. It's on that finger. And then this one is just a small diamond in a yellow gold setting. And this one I was given by my grandmother 
when she, and this one as well. So these two rings I was given when my grandmother passed. Um, I was sort of, they were passed down to me. So now I wear them on this hand and then obviously I have my engagement ring on this hand. As for necklaces, I wear two. So this is the, I think it's the Petite Chatelaine by David Yerman. Um, this is in sterling silver and then it has a, I think it's called a rhodolite garnet and four small diamonds on the corners. It's really pretty. Garnet is my birthstone. Uh, Robin gave this to me for our anniversary last year. And then this next one, which is my last one, a small pave diamond white gold tea necklace. So this I got um, when I was in New Zealand for my birthday in 2019, I think. So I got this in Auckland. I can't remember the store that I got it from, but it just has these small diamonds sort of all throughout. And I don't know what carat this is. This is nine carat white gold. And the chain is also nine carat white gold as well. So this is my everyday jewelry. I often, you know, I like layering necklaces. I like having that sort of like effect. And then I also like having a bunch of gold on me. I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm just like a gold, I like jewelry. I love jewelry. I love the sparkle. I love that you can pass it down considering everything on this arm was gifted to me by previous generations in my family and I'll probably pass it down as well and then just keep it going. And that's what I really love about jewelry is that it can live within your family or it can just live forever really because diamonds and gold, they're, these things won't age They'll just keep living with you and living with your family and you pass them down. So that was my engagement story. This is my engagement ring, my everyday jewelry, and I keep it all in my base jewelry case. I'll link the video that I did on this uh, down below so you can take a look and see. But the only other jewelry that I have, which I don't wear often, is this um, three motif skull ring that I got in Barcelona. I got it from a, we were at a market and like it was like this jewelry sculptor guy and he made this and I thought it was really cool and it looks, it looks really cool on, but um, I don't know. I kind of feel like this might be too much. Put it back in there. So that's my video. Thank you again, Fiobach, for partnering with me and gifting me this shirt. I'll link down below 20% off using code TOR20. Um, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions about my jewelry, about Burks, about anything like that, let me know and I'd be happy to answer them. And yeah, I'm just super excited to bring you along with me in this next stage of my life. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Bye guys.